the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hello learners, you are welcome to e-learning. You are welcome to agricultural science class. My name is Rashida Omar. Our topic for discussion today is husbandry of some selected crops. Our subtopic is husbandry of a maize crop. That is, we are going to look at the production of maize. Learners, how many of you have ever eaten cornflakes, pub, swallow, this is they are all product of maize. So today we are going to look at the meaning of crop husbandry, some cultural practices in crop production, cultivation of maize, that is the maize. The botanical name of maize is the maize. Land preparation, varieties, climatic and soil requirements, method of propagation, planting date, seed rate and spacing, we are, also going to look at the, we are also going to look at the planting, the cultural practices, the maturity period, harvesting period, processing and uses of this maize. Then we move forward to look at the storage. Then we look at the pests and diseases of this maize crop. We, look at, we also look at their controls before we finally move to the assignment. Meaning of husbandry. Crop husbandry deals with the various aspects of crops from seed sowing on fields and off field operations, harvesting, threshing, storage, marketing of the products. Now let's look at the cultural practices in crop production. These are the practices that are involved or that we are going to be taking after the order in the in this at the cost of delivering this lesson. So the first one is transplanting. The transfer of seedlings from nursery bed to their permanent position is in the field is known as transplanting. I said it is what? It is the transfer of seedlings that is from their nursery to their permanent position in the field. Secondly, we have shedding. Shedding, it is the act of erecting cover above seedlings to protect seedlings from harsh external uh, environmental conditions, such as the rainfall and excessive sunshine. Thirdly, we have the supplying, which is also known as filling in. The replacement of seed that fail to germinate or seedlings that die. Where your seedlings do not or fail to germinate or they die, what you do is what? Filling. That is the replacement. When you replace them, you are filling or you are supplying. The fourth one is the seed rate. Seed rate refers to the quantity of seed required to plant one hectare of land. Quantity of seed that is required to plant on one hectare of land. That is known as the seed rate. Number five. Quantity of seed used usually depend on spacing or plant population desired. Since we have the thinning, thinning is the removal of weak plants from a stand. When the plants they are weak and you remove them from the stand to give rise to one or two vigorous crop plant, it is usually done by hand practice. When the crop plants are very young, when the crop are young and they are weak, you use your ordinary hands to, what? to remove them, to remove the weak ones, so that you allow the vigorous ones to grow properly. The next one is, is weeding. Weeding, this is the removal of unwanted plants, which grow among cultivated crops. Weeding is done regularly on farmland in order to prevent competition with the crops for space, for sunlight, soil moisture, soil oxygen, etc. Mulching, number eight is mulching. Mulching is the covering of heaps or ridges with dry leaves to reduce the temperature, conserve soil moisture, and prevent rotting of some crops plants such as yam. Number nine, spacing. Spacing refers to the distance within and between crop plants. 
in a farmland. This ensures greater yield of crops and prevents overcrowding. That is overcrowding of what? Of the crops. And easy ventilation within and between rows of crop production. Uh, maize, that is the maize. As I earlier mentioned, today we are going to talk about maize production. And this maize, the botanical name of maize is what? The maize. So maize is also called corn. Anywhere you hear corn, it is also referring to what? To a maize. So we said maize is also called corn. It's a member of a grass family, which is known as what? Graminae. It is a cereal crop which produces grains that can be used as food by human beings as well as livestock. This means they are food. They can be used or consumed by both human and livestock. The seed of maize is a caryopsis, that is, it has its epicarp fused with the mesocarp. The epicarp, I said, is what? It's fused with the mesocarp. Land preparation. Now let's look at the land preparation of maize production. The first thing you do is what? Preparing your land. When you want to go into maize production, before you cultivate, the first thing that you have to do is what? Land preparation. So this is done by clearing the land or bush with cutlass, making ridges or heaps manually with hoe. You are to what? To clear your land with what? Manually by clearing the land or bush. You have to clear the land or bush that is manually using your cutlasses. Make your ridges or hips manually. Or mechanically by plowing, harrowing, or ridging. You can use your hand that is manually. You can also do it mechanically by the use of some instruments such as the plow and the ridges. As you can see here, this is a diagram showing you uh, an implement. That is a ridger. This ridger, it helps you or it assists in what? Making ridges. For you before you start plantation you have to after clearing the land you make your ridges so you can do these ridges either manually or by using this implement that is the ridger as you can see here for those of you that are viewing now let's look at the varieties of this maize these maize they are of different varieties we have about four or five varieties of maize and these varieties they include Dent corn, flint corn, pop corn, sweet corn. Uh, we also have uh, pop corn. As you can see here, this is a diagram showing you a pop corn. This pop corn, it is one that we use in making our pop corn. As you can see, it is yellowish in color and it has the seeds are tiny. They are very small, small. They are smaller than the other species. The next one is the sweet corn. This is known as the sweet corn. It is yellow in color. We have the other one too, which is known as what? The flour corn. The one that we use in making our flowers. The next one here is the dent corn. It is also yellowish in color. We also have the flint corn. And, but this flint corn, it comes in two colors. We have the white flint corn and we also have the yellow flint corn. Now let's look at the climatic and soil requirement of maize production. Maize requests a temperature of about 26 to 30 degrees and it needs rainfall of about 75 centimeter to 150 centimeter per annum. And it needs a well-drained sandy loamy soil. It also needs pH of about 6 to 7. So uh, the next one is the method of propagation. Maize is propagated by seed. We propagate maize by what? By its seed. So this maize seed can be planted manually. You can plant it manually by using your stick or hoe. You can also use it, you can also plant it mechanically by using what? By using your planter. This is a diagram showing you two different uh, types of planter, whereby you just put the seed in that container, and as you are trolling the planter, it will be what? Displacing or dispatching the seed.
planting dates. Early maize is planted between March and April, while the late maize is planted between July and August. That means in a year you can plant maize twice a year. That is the early maize we plant it from March to April, while the late maize can be planted between July and August. The next one is the seed rate. The quantity of seed required to plant on one hectare, that is what? That is the seed rate. So a quantity of maize that is required on one hectare is about 25 to 30 kg per hectare. You are supposed to plant 25 kg to 30 kg per hectare. That is three or two seedlings per hole. You are to plant two or three seedlings per hole. Spacing. 90 centimeter to 30 centimeter at one seed per hole. The spacing should be 90 centimeter by 30 centimeter at one seed per hole. The planting. Planting can be done manually using cutlass or mechanically by planters. As I earlier mentioned, I said planting, you can use your ordinary hoe or cutlass to plant the seed. And you can also do it uh, mechanically, that is by the use of what? A planter. A two or three seed per hole. A two to four centimeter deep. That is the depth of the hole should be between two to four centimeter. Germination occurs four to seven days later. After your planting, germination of maize normally occurs between four to seven days. Now let's look at the cultural practices of maize production. Supplying, replanting of seed to replace those seeds that did not germinate. When you plant your seed and you realize that the seed did not germinate, what you will do is what? Supplying. And this supplying, it simply means the replanting of seeds that does not germinate. You replant again to replace the dead seed. B is thinning. Thinning is the removal of weak plants from stand to rise one or two vigorous crop plants. That is why you are thinning, you are removing the weak plants. The ones that are already weak, you have to remove them and give chance or allow chance for the few vigorous crop plants. C, fertilizer application. Apply MPK 15-15-15. That is 200 kilograms per hectare. You are to apply 200 kilograms of MPK 15, 15, 15 per hectare. And this 200 kilograms is equivalent to four bags of fertilizer. Or 150 kg, that is three bags of urea per hectare. If it is MPK, you apply four bags, that is 200 kg. And when you are applying urea, you are supposed to apply what? Five to, uh, you are supposed to apply 150 kilograms. That is three bags of fertilizer. Five to six weeks after applying the fertilizer, you now do what? Side dressing. By applying what? Organic manure. You apply organic manure, that is five to, after, after six or six to five to six weeks, you do what? Side dressing on the plant. The next one is weeding. This is done three or four times at regular interval. After planting of your crops, you have to what? You have to be weeding. Weeding, weeding is what? Is the removal of unwanted crops. So you have to be removing them on regular interval. Let's say four or five times. So this weeding can be done manually by hoe. That is, you have to you remove the grasses manually by your hoe, cutlass, or chemically with the use of specific herbicides. You can use herbicide to what? To burn down the unwanted grass. Or you can also do it uh, mechanically with machine. Control of pests and disease. This is done anytime at regular intervals or prevent it completely using appropriate chemical. You are supposed to be what? To be controlling the pest and disease at regular interval using the appropriate chemicals. Maturity period. This takes about two, uh, two to three months, that is 60 to nine days for weight mates, for you to what? For you to, for the weight mate to reach its maturity 
is between 60 to 90 days. That is two to three months for the weight mace. Then three to four months, that is 90 to 120 days for the dry mace after planting. Harvesting. Mace can be harvested by hand, sickle, or corn picker by combined harvester. That is, your harvesting can be done what? If it manually, with the use of your hand, sickle, or corn picker, or by the use of combined harvester. Processing and uses. Maize can be eaten either boiled or roasted, or processed into corn flour, corn flakes, livestock feed, beer, baking flour, etc. Storage. Dried maize cup can be stored either in cribs, in rumbus, on a small scale, or in silos, a large scale. When it is a large scale, you can store it in silos. And when it is on small scale, you can use your rumbus or crepes to store the maize grain. Pest of a maize. Stem borers. The larva bore holes into young stem and destroy the tissue, leading the low yield or death of the plant. Control. How do you control these stem borers? We control them by what? By spraying it with insecticide, like the Vetox 85, and uh, practice crop rotation. The second one is the grasshopper. They eat up the leaves and other soft vegetation of the plant, the grasshopper. So how do you control this grasshopper? We control them by what? By spraying the appropriate chemicals, such as the word DDT. Maize weevil is another pest. This is a field to store pest. That is, it can attack the maize from the field to store. Adults and lava borehole into grains and reduce it into what? Into powder form. Control method, you fumigate the store with BHC powder or poxotocin tablet. Fostocin tablet or early harvesting. Disease of maize. The first one we have corn smut. Corn smut is the name of a disease that attacks the maize. It is caused by a fungus or tilago maedis, which is spread by wind. Symptoms of this corn smut is it includes galls on the ears, on the leaves, and on tassels, which later turn black. How do you control this disease? Number one, by destroy disease plant. That is, you destroy the disease plant. The plant that is already infected, you destroy it. Secondly, use resistant varieties. There are some resistant varieties that are what? They are resistant. Some varieties, they are resistant to disease. Thirdly, treat seed before planting. Sometimes you have to treat your seed before you plant to protect them from what? From disease. Number two is maize rust. Maize rust is another disease of maize. It is caused by a fungus, which is known as the Pocinia polyosora. They cause red spots on leaves, which eventually die. When you observe, you see red spots on the leaves of your maize, and eventually, these leaves or the plant will automatically die. How do you control this maize rust? You control it by the use of what? Resistant varieties. Secondly, practicing of crop rotation. Thirdly, practice early planting. Number three, we have leaf spot. Leaf spot is another disease. It is caused by fungus, uh, Pisoderma species, which is spread by wind. The symptoms, it include death of part of the leaves. When you observe, you see some parts of the leaves will just be dying or they will just dry and fall off. How do we control this leaf spot? We control them by the use of resistant varieties or by applying appropriate fung fungicides.
students, in summary, we, are, uh, we have come to the end of this lesson. But in summary, uh, we have seen the meaning of crop husbandry, which we said crop husbandry deals with various aspects of crop, from seed sowing on the field and uh, off-field operation, harvesting, threshing, storage, marketing of the product. We will move forward and talk about the cultural practices in crop production, which we said it includes transplanting, that is the transfer of seedling from nursery beds to their permanent position in the field land. We, we, talk, we also talked about shedding, which we say is the act of erecting cover above seedlings to protect seedlings from harsh external environmental conditions such as the sun and uh, rainfall. Supplying or filling in, we say, is the replacement of that uh, seeds that refuse, that refuse or fails to, what, to germinate or dies. We also move further and uh, talk about the seed rate, which we say seed rate refers to the quantity of seed required to plant one hectare of land. Thinning is the removal of weak plants from a stand to give rise to one or two vigorous crop plant. We also talk about the weeding, which we say is the removal of unwanted plants, which normally grows about, uh, um, uh, with their crops and goes into competition with the crops for space, sunlight, nutrients, uh, soil moisture, oxygen, etc. We also talk about mulching, which we say is the covering of heaps or ridges with dry leaves to reduce soil temperature, conserve soil moisture, and prevent rotting of some crops such as yam. Spacey refers to distance within or between crops in a farm land. This ensures greater yield of crops and prevents overcrowding and easy ventilation within and between rows of crop plant. We also, I will also uh, proceed to uh, the same definition of the maize, which we say maize is also called a corn. That is corn is another name for maize, and it is a member of the grass family, which is also known as the graminae. And we have also seen varieties of maize, which include the popcorn, that is one we use in making our popcorn. They are red in color, and they are what? They are very tiny. We also seen the sweet corn, flower corn. So my dear learners, before I go, I will leave you with this assignment. Discuss the production of maize under the following headings. I said you are to discuss production of maize under the following headings. Number one, soil requirements. Two, land preparation. Three, planting and spacing. Four, storage. And five, two, pests and control of maize. I repeat again, I said discuss the production of maize under the following headings. Number one, soil requirements. Two, land preparation. Three, planting and spacing. Four, storage. Uh, five, two pests and control. For further inquiries, you can contact the following test books. Number one, Essential of Agricultural Science for Senior Secondary School by O.A. Iwena. Two, Prescribed Agricultural Science for Senior Secondary School by Omoroi. For for inquiries or submission of your assignment, you can contact me on the following number. Rashida Umar, 080 34 51 35 76. Stay safe and keep learning.